This is part three of the Barefoot Hippies delivery. Yesterday, we spent two whole videos just opening one box. Here comes the second box. Hopefully we can squeeze this in one video. Um, the generosity is just amazing. I just want to thank everybody who's been donating and helping and those people in the beginning who started giving and now we have so many supplies to portion out to send to people all around the country and we're trying to get it around the world. The shipping is hard, but anyway, this is box number two. I've already kind of gotten opened by the postman. That was nice of him to start it for us. And now I'm just going to use my pressure to try to just get the box to pop. Because, ah, it's not working. Let me get my tools. All right, if I jam these in here, just the right spot, it creates a... That's not staying. It creates a seismic radiation magnetic field that will cause the box to just open on its own. You don't believe me? Hey. There we go. That's it. We just wait. It's gonna happen. Bam! Told ya. Oh, look at this. It's more clothing. We were getting really cold here. Oh no, no, these are more masks. I, I'm gonna be the most stylishly masked person in all of Maskville. All of you people who don't have masks, you can just watch and be jealous vicariously. Look at this, double-sided. Look at the, it's like a fashion statement either way. It's reversible, no matter how you wear it. Like, people are gonna like, look and mumble through their own masks. Oh, it's a nice mask. And I'll say, thank you. Ooh, tie-dye, this is a whole shirt. <gasps> what? It's so nice. Well, this is what I'll be wearing for for the next 47 videos. Ugh. So I have to look at this shirt again. Look at that. I love it, I love it. Oh, fun, 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 scrap leather. Oh, fun. So I thought there was gonna get another mask out of that. These little belts, they're so cool. Crystally fun stuff. For adults or kids kits. All these crystally fun things. Fun bright beads. Yep, gonna be a lot of kids kits. That's coral. Very cool. Oh look, squirrel. <laughs> these are what? Are they are these black agate? Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. All of them drilled straight through. This is my favorite size teardrop of all time. It's like, I don't know how to describe it. I think it's like 18 millimeters by, no, it's more than that. It's like 22 millimeters by 28 millimeters, something like that. Anyway, um, you know, these cute little guys, little, little ja purple Jasper. <clears throat> that looks like a whole necklace already put together. That's pretty, the butterfly in there. More crystally things, like all kinds of kits for adults who love crystals and lots of kids. Shimmery, shim 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 shimmery shim shim shoo. The shimmery shim shimmery shim woo. These are all very nice stone beads. Oh, there's like a treasure chest in there. A whole bunch of fun. Dude. Holy moly, stones mix. Yep, I agree. Fossilized coral amethyst blue lace. What? Those are the prettiest amethysts and look perfect size to make earrings or rings. I love that size. And there's a fossilized coral. That's cool. I want to open these and do stuff. I want to make stuff. Um, more crystally. Oh yeah, I got a whole bunch of big chips and little chips. That's blue lace agate. Chips and salsa. Love it. That's citrine. I don't know what the pink is, but I've seen it a lot of times. That is, um, these stones are picture jasper. Really, they make beautiful bracelets. Um, there's, you go to really high-end women's um, clothing stores, and you'll see these bracelets just and necklaces with just 
a whole string of these stones with maybe a little bit of gold or silver. Selling selling for a lot of money. Um, good stuff. What do we have? Oh, more of these giant quartz um, chunks. Arkansas Q. So geologists would just be excited, as maybe as much as me. Oh, I thought that was where those little chocolate candies with the little white dots on the outside that you get at the at the movies. What? Okay, remember I said we needed six millimeter, four millimeter, eight millimeter, ten millimeter beads because that's just how we fill up the kit so people have a lot of stuff to work with. This is werewolf mating call. <laughs> I have, I don't, um, okay. Um, wow. These are wood. They're so beautiful. This is nice wood. I have a lot of wood beads. I mean, I get, they're so inexpensive. And I, I did a couple of videos on how you can make really cool stuff with inexpensive wood beads. But this, this is, these are nice. This is nice wood. And this is bone. Or, or horn, it could be bone or horn. It's, um, painted. These are really cool. They're called hairpin beads. Really long, they make great necklaces, rustic stuff. It's really pretty. Someone was asking for a giant rustic kit. I'm glad I waited to see all this stuff before putting it together, but I'm gonna be able to make tons of rustic kits now. Uh, these are nice agate, one of those. Got some blue in there. Got some purpley rustic mix. <clears throat> Smaller quartz, tiny Q. That's what the Q is. The Q is for quartz. Okay, I'm slow. Um, snakeskin agate, Southern Oregon. What is this? Wow, I've never seen anything like that. Rustic kits. I don't know. These are nice stones. I mean, they're kind of rustic looking, but it's more agate. Oh, look at that. It just keeps coming out. Oh, it just keeps coming out. That could be a... When someone says it just keeps coming out, that could be a beautiful thing or a worrisome thing. To, like, you don't want to hear that if you're uh, not feeling well. So pretty. Look at that. It's like... It's like if you took a zebra and mixed him with a unicorn. The magic of the unicorn with the beauty of the black and white stripes. A unicorn zebra. A zebra corn. No, a, a unizy. You guys have to help me come up with that beautiful name when the, the unicorn and the zebra mate and they have this beautiful animal with magical powers and magical stripes. I don't know what these stones are. I'd say they might be halite, but I'm, I, no, I don't think so. There's something else, but they're really pretty. Um, and then these are, they're pur wait, whoa, they're purple? No, they're red. No, they're purple. No, they're red. Is, is the dress white and gold or blue and black? No, oh, I think there's purple mixed in with red. I don't think they're actually changing colors. I got scared there for a second, like, my eyes were playing tricks. <clears throat> More crystallies. All kinds of crystallies. Tons of clasps. Well, somebody's going to be making some necklaces. We're going to have to be giving away some clasps now. Um, we really want to give away jump rings, clasps, earring hooks, all the findings. So people who are brand new don't have to buy anything when they get the kits or don't have to have any former supplies. Little crystallies. Four millimeter. These are so pretty. They're like turquoise. They're probably some kind of jasper. They're perfect. I love using teeny, teeny, tiny stones with silver. They're like turquoise colored. This is just a mix of good stuff, all kinds of good stuff. There's so much in here. I am just, what is this? It's a parrot. They took, they fossilized a parrot and turned it into a pendant, this poor thing. Oh, look at that. I, that's, I think it's glass. I think it's, um, I think it's like, like dichroic glass. That's crazy. Wow. Bumblebee Amazon turtle. Oops. <laughs> I 
think this is a Mazinite. Yep, a Mazinite rondelles. Rondelles, that's what these are. When you have a flattened bead that's not completely spherical, it's a rondelle. A rondelle. I remember Rondell. She was a beautiful lady. This is cool. I'm so used to these beautiful stones. I'm like, this is cool. If I'd seen this six months ago, I'd be like, this stone is so amazing. But, like, I'm so spoiled now. It's all this beautiful stuff. Um, crystally, more crystallies. Rustic coral. This coral is so fun. Make earrings. You can make such fun stuff. It's dyed all these different colors. So great. Oh, great stuff. More crystallies. More crystallies. Um, what are these? Two jeans buttons. This is just all kinds more. My favorite variety of Q. That stands for quartz. Yeehaw mixed. This is hilarious. Oh my gosh. This is just, it's like treasures, buried treasure. Blue Goldstone, Oxbone, and Dyed Quartz. Oxbone, that's cool. More Chrisleys, more Chrisleys. Get, get through all these Chrisleys. These are, whoa. These are giant ceramic beat stones. They're um, clay with melted glass. Really fun. And they, they are escaping from the bag. Okay, this is what's making the bag so heavy. Look at all this glass. Guess what? Well, this is getting rubbed off. Somebody makes these. Nope, wrong answer. Um, I don't know what that word is. Um, I hope barefoot hippies can um, tell me what that word was. Let's see. Ugh, where do we even start? Wow! This is... Oh, dichroic glass. I believe it's dichroic glass, where you just you take glass and then you add, um, you add beautiful like layers and colors of other materials, and then you bake it, and it becomes part of the glass. So, oh my gosh, it is so pretty. Oh man, I like. How long would it take to go through all this? That little one. Look at that. It's so cool. Insane. Oxbone from Tibet. So cool. Quartz. This is... What do they do the quartz to get it like this? It's crazy. This looks like from another planet. I don't... I, I, I think that's from another planet. More quartz. Trade show mix. Gem fair. These are all 10 and 12 millimeter. Awesome. Oh, look at those. Oh, look at those baby little... I gotta take this out. Look at those... Little baby malachite. What? That is the coolest bracelet ever. I don't want to take it apart. I just want... Look at this. Oh, it's made for a sm some of the smaller wrists. I don't want to break it. Look at those pieces, how they just fan off like... Ta -ta 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 -ta. And it looks cool like this. When it's on your wrist, they're going to be like, you know, fanning a different way like that. What a cool bracelet. I want to put it on. I have to put it on. I'm probably going to pop it. Yeah, it doesn't fit me, but I just want you guys to see, like, how pretty, right? Isn't that a pretty idea? Oh, man. Uh, uh, tiger's Eye! And more of this, um, whatever that kind of quartz was called, I forget. Ooh, cute little hands. I thought they were elephants at first. Look, if you look at a hand like that, it looks like an elephant. See that? Handy. <laughs> so it says Mona Lisa on one side. It says handmade on the other. Um, Hearing mix, pyrite, pyrite, imperial, lapis, rose, and amethyst. Oh, you guys don't even see that. It's not in focus. There you go. Yes. Teeny tiny little kids' beads, little plastic beads. Poop beetle citrine, redwood jasper, abalone shaped, carved shell. I wouldn't be able to put this box together. If I owned all this stuff, I would be like panicking over how to even organize it. And barefoot hippies just popped them into these Ziploc baggies and gave them all funny names. This is like, this is so fun. 
Like, what is, oh my gosh. It's little dragonfly wings. And then this is, um, this is great for the rustic kits. This is, um, coconut shell. How cool is that, right? Come on, tell me. Every one of these could be an earring, a rustic earring, right? Or you could, you could put them in between round beads and just have that cool effect like you had here, only like rustic. So fun. So this, there's more of these um, little handmade glass beads. This is more rustic mix. It's just great stuff in there. There's soda light in there or lapis lazuli. There's what are these guys? These are really cool. They look just kind of gray through the bag, but no, these are like super pretty and they're faceted too. What is that? Ah, little pieces of wood from a tree. <laughs> Great for rustic stuff. Rustic all the way. It's another ceramic. It's more kids' speeds. It's more charms. All kinds of fun charms. Little ceramic turtle in there. It's another reason this bag, weighed, this box weighed so much. Yachat agates. Yachat. Yachat. Is that a German? Yachat. Yachat. Wow, that's fun. Look at that. That's wild. All right, how far are we into this video? Should we do a part four? Now nah, let's finish it up. We have we have more stuff to get to. We gotta, te we gotta teach you guys how to make stuff, or we have to learn how to make stuff. A lot more of this, a lot more of this, a lot more of this. So fun. Kids beads, a lot of kids beads. Fun stuff. I'm just curious what's in here. Focal bead. Ooh, little marbly things. Picture Jasper, Tiger's Eye, Lapis Lazuli, Turquoise. It's all a bunch of big chips, make great rings. Smoky Quartz and Black Tourmaline. Oh, people always ask for Black Tourmaline. Do you have Black Tourmaline? I never seem to have it. More kids' beads. More kids' beads. More kids' beads. Make a lot of kids' kits. These are fun. All right. It looks like we're down to the bottom almost. Oh, one more. This is Wyoming Youngite, a type of braciated jasper. Shut up. What is that? Okay, see, I'm seeing stuff I've never, ever seen in my life. Let's look at all of them together. Oh, my gosh. Fun. It's another amethyst raw crystally piece taken right out of the earth. Rutilated quartz. I love it when quartz is rutilated. I have no idea what that means, but this is... Oh, that's that gold leaf stuff. Maybe that's what the little bead I was using earlier is. Rutilated quartz. You guys can tell me. I had these little blue beads that had like a gold leaf in them, and I couldn't tell if they were man-made or natural. They looked like a little bit of both. Um... Crystally, crystally, crystally. A lot of kids. You kids are going to be making a lot of bracelets. All the kids of America are going to be making bracelets out of this box. Fluorite beads. The fluorite is so pretty. Rainbow fluorite. It's purple and green and clear. What pretty colors to mix if you're going to mix some pretty colors. Purple and green and clear. Rainbow fluorite. When it's all purple, it looks like it gets mistaken for amethyst. And... Trade show mix. Oh, finally down to the bottom. Mysterious moons. I think they're um either agate or carnelian, but they're like all on little strings. That's cute. Alright. Thank you so much. Barefoot hippies.
This is amazing. This is so many people around the country, hopefully around the world, if we get the shipping handled, are going to be getting kits full of stones. And um, you guys are the best. Everyone watching, you're the best. Look at this awesome blank empty table. And let me tell you, I appreciate you watching these videos. I appreciate you commenting. I love all of you. Come to the Facebook group and share your own art. I don't care if you do painting, sculpture, jewelry, whatever. Share your art. I'm putting up the link in the description under the video. Share your art. Come to the Stone Kits group on Facebook if you want to purchase a kit or if you want to um, talk to me about, you know, whatever you can afford. Um, whatever whatever we're working out, working, trying to work it out with everybody. We're trying to hire, I, I might have to hire more people to help with this because it's a lot of work putting these into kits. But, like, I'm so grateful for these donations from people from all over the country. And... Um, I just want to thank everyone for just watching and commenting, and that's what keeps all this going. So you guys have an awesome afternoon. Have an awesome evening. Come see the live show Tuesday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern Central Time. I might do another live show on the weekends for people who can't make that one. And you guys keeping amazing. Make your own art. Be weird. Be wrong. Be different. Be awesome. See you next time.